Oh my goodness, look at this beaut. Legend of the Mystical Ninja, a personal favorite of mine, and I'm hoping we can get this uh, working again with open current surgery. I don't have a tech background. I don't have an engineering degree. I've just been doing this since like the 90s to get these games working again. I actually used to help out a local video store. Uh, I'd fix some of their games in return for free rentals, and sometimes I'd fix the game, and they're like, it's already written off. You can just keep it, so... Good news for me anyway. Um, I'm just gonna open it up. I'm just gonna try cleaning it. If I have to pull out the old soldering iron or something like that, I can do that too. I've been doing this series on this channel for a long time. And if you've been watching for a long time, thank you. Um, I just ran into some people recently at a couple of Florida conventions. I was at really rad weekend in Destin as well. Oh, Fort Walton Beach, right next to Destin. Okaloosa Island, I think it was called. And then uh, Free Play Florida in Lakeland, which was a wonderful time. Both conventions, highly recommended. Had a, not just people there saying, hey, I like, I like the open cart surgery stuff. I wish you would do more. And I said, that's fine. And uh, this one I actually received at, uh, at Really Rad Weekend. So there you go. Uh, they told me what was wrong with it. And I'm gonna, try, man, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm happy to have a look because here's what this looks like. Brace yourself. You can see on the pins there, ah, I mean, not terrible. I've seen, I've seen worse that still play but it's this other side. Ooh, oh, 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 my goodness. Yeah, this is not looking good. Um, but I'll try cleaning it. I'll try, you know, I don't know if it's corrosion. It looks a little textured. So, I mean, we'll try We'll, we'll try the one-up card first. We'll try the Bright Boy as well. Just, you know, see if we can anyway. We have uh, this right here. This is the one-up card, if you're curious. Looks like this. There's a fluid side and a dry side. This one happens to have my face on it. Ding! Um, if you need yours of these, um, I do have a link uh, that goes to Amazon if you want to get like a single pack or a three pack or whatever. If you want one signed, my Shopify, I will sell you one signed. I'll just ship it to you and everything, if you're curious. But if you just want to do the Amazon thing, I mean, does it, you don't even have to have my face on it. Just anything will work. But I really, really do like these. They are made to fit into your uh, games without having to open them up. I still like to open them up, though. So there's a fluid side. Do a little fluid here. Hopefully you're having good holidays and all that. So a little bit of this. Um, I did not pop this in yet. So usually I pop it in, see if it works. Um, honestly, I didn't, because when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I'm not popping it in like that. <laughs> I am definitely gonna clean it first. And then I'll show you what I see on my side. I'll bring the camera closer to me and we'll have a look. And I hope you're having a great holiday, like I said. Yeah, things are good on our side anyway. No more conventions planned for the rest of the year. In fact, I don't think I have any conventions planned until like March. There are other conventions on the way. Not to say I am or am not going to those, but the next one I have planned isn't until March of 2024. So let me just chill for a bit if I can. Got a couple of games coming out soon. Let's talk about that coming up here right quick. All right, well, I'm just going to pop it in just like this, and we'll see what happens. I'm taking you with me, though. And just pop it in like this. I'm using a Super Retro Trio 3 on the Super Nintendo. Face it away from you. That's just how those ones work. And you can kind of feel for it here. Just like that. Double click for the Super Nintendo. Dusty screen, which I never realized because the angle I sit at doesn't show how dusty it is. And the answer is no. Uh, I'm going to try the right boy. New games, you may ask. Choo Choo Mimic plays a lot like Choo Choo Rocket, but you're guiding knights to a hungry treasure chest mimic. Uh, coming extremely soon to NES. I made a couple of loose carts for the local conventions, but I'll have it CIB. I'll have it Game Boy Advance. I'll have it Dreamcast. It'll also be available for download. Um, Switch and Steam later on uh, in 2024 as well. But look out for this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. As well as these, these were a huge hit. My, uh, my arcade scented air fresheners that smell like menthols, wood paneling, a rusty gum ball machine and spilt stale cola and I'm getting my shipment of these here in the next couple of weeks this is a high school cafeteria scented air fresheners that's right these are available now this is coming soon uh they're on the Shopify this is like just my test run here yeah it's it's interesting this is bright boy it's a brass polisher but doesn't leave that weird residue that Brasso does uh, most consider uh avoiding Brasso I would agree and even if you use whatever including this I still want to clean it up afterwards. Anything I can't see, you know? A little bit. I don't know if this is going to help at all, really, at this point. Because everything else looks okay. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, I can actually just take this chip off and put it on another cart. Uh, or another uh, circuit board. And if this doesn't work, I think I'll try that. Because I do not want this game to go to waste. It's such a good game. I'm just kind of rubbing the pins here. 
I know you can't really see what I'm doing. Now I'm just going to take the dry side as well. You know, nothing too fancy. Okay, let's try that one up card again. This is the one I was using. And really, when the pins look like this, I probably could have just done that in the first place. <laughs> you know, it's like, if it works, it works. And again, I've seen games that look worse that still work. But if this doesn't work, we can certainly do like a board swap. And that's won't be a problem. It's just the one, just that guy right there. I'm sure I can find one. This is a, uh, an, an, a 1A. It is a 1A, so yeah, I should have a spare one of these laying around somewhere. Sports game or something. Uh, all right, let's give it a shot here. Okay, again, facing backwards. Oops. Um, I did test this earlier to make sure it did work, at least the Super Nintendo portion. Still nothing. Uh, let's, try, let's try a board swap. So I found this. Let's take it a second here, but there we go. Okay, so this game does work, and this one should work, even though it looks slightly different. So this one here is Legend of the Mystical Ninja, and this one here is the uh, quarterback club that you just saw a second ago. Has the battery, it has like an extra chip up here. Sh again, shouldn't matter. I'm just looking at the side here for the uh, A, one A. Sometimes it says A, every once in a while it'll say J. That's the difference between like a high ROM and a low ROM. Doesn't really matter, um, but the A is compatible with the A. I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it will work. I have done board swaps, like from something like this to something like this, and it works just fine. This one doesn't save, it's password system, while well, this one saves. So that's, you know, it's gonna have the extra stuff on there. Doesn't matter, not gonna use it. Um, I'm gonna do that. So, I have a desoldering gun. <laughs> However you wanna desolder, that's up to you. I like using this one. I've had people say, how come you don't use any flux? I was like, I don't know. I just, I've never tried it. Uh, I have some flux here, I think. What is this? This is a... Uh, Advanced quality soldering flux paste. And I don't know if I'm gonna try it today or not. What do I do? Do I just like grab some? Ooh, it's gloppy. Is that what I do? I'll, I'll give it a shot, why not? Why not? I'll give it a shot on this one. Do I just kind of glop it on there? Let's see here, I need, uh, I need to remove this one here. Like that? Probably not. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing with this stuff? Someone's like, oh, here, use this. And I was like, you didn't tell me how to use it. Again, I don't have a tech background. I don't know. I need something to wipe this off with. Hold on. Watch me. I just ruined it or something. All right. Will that make a difference? Because it certainly worked before. All right, here we go. I'm just going to hit up every pin so I can pull this out nice and easily, nice and gently. Fortunately, Super Nintendo games aren't too bad. And that one there... I accidentally just removed, not accidentally, um, it removed one of the metal rings around it, so I already can't use this. This game's already ruined. Fortunately, I think I have another one. No, oh, I'm happy to destroy this one. Uh, fortunately, it's another quarterback club game. Um, quarterback club 94, I think? Oh, there you go, okay. And again, same idea, it has the A on there, and I just need to replace this with the other one. And this one also, Looks too big, actually. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't. I mean, it should still work. Yeah, I'll, I'll find one where the chip isn't as big. Hold on. That's fine. I did find another one that didn't want to play. <laughs> so I'm going to try doing a little open cart surgery on the game donor first. I'm just using a one-up card here. Um, and it's already looking a lot better anyway. So, And this one ha does have the same pin count. Um, not to say that it wouldn't work if you use extra ones because you can still set it and it usually works that way like when you just like you know put it back where the thing should be okay it's working now i'll show you there you go it's whatever game it is okay fine and uh let's go for it so gonna hit up every pin beautiful all right in fast forward if you will okay I was just thinking about that. It's like, oh, I wonder if I wasn't recording this whole time. That'd be funny. Well, wouldn't be the end of the world. It wouldn't matter because this part's kind of boring. Um, there is a pin lifter tooly thing in a bob um, that I can't find right now. But fortunately, Super Nintendo games pull out pretty easily, just like that. So uh, this does work, but some basketball game, it's going to be a sacrifice. Don't worry, I didn't destroy your game. I destroyed my own game. Sometimes they're like, you're destroying, you're killing games. I'm not killing your game. But you're making all these games for the, yeah, um, yeah, games that have been sitting on some shelf for a long time. They're having to get rid of them. Okay. This is clean. 
Putting this aside, this will be what once was Tecmo basketball or something, will soon be, hopefully, fingers crossed, a legend of the mystical ninja. Now we're gonna take that game, this ROM here. Never mind about everything else. This is the game. That chip right there. That's the whole game. I'm gonna put that onto that board. First, we need to remove it. Again, if you don't mind. <clears throat> a little, little fast forward action, if you will, huh? I just realized, um, I never did go back to using that flux stuff. <laughs> but here we are all the same. Okay, this game should come out, this game needs to come out neat. Because if this game gets ruined, then my game is ruined. Fortunately, it's already super loose with the exception of one spot right on the end of there. It just wanted to slide right out. With the exception of this one right here. <laughs> That should hopefully do it, just like that. Again, they have tools, they have all these things, they have a, they have, they have EEPROM holders, and they have a circuit board, board, board holders, so you don't have to just use your hands. Me, on the other hand, no pun intended, um, I don't mind. That's what that game looks like. It's done, throw it away, not gonna be, you, you can actually save them, I used to do that for years. I would save them for um, for parts. I would save them uh, in case I needed a resistor or a capacitor or something like that too, but I'm kind of overloaded right now. Um, and that's not a euphemism for anything legal in my state. Uh, so here is the chip and here is the board. And the good news is if you if you pulled it off, you're like, oh, where does it go? There's a notch right here. I don't know how it's gonna show up on the camera. I'll put it right on my, my, my I have a lot of, inv I have a lot of inventory on my forehead. So there you go. <laughs> there's, a, there's a notch right there. And again, there's a notch. It shows you a little notch on the circuit board. Yes, that's right. I literally just used my giant forehead, my receding hairline to showcase <laughs> the background of where it should go. And because it's the same size, you just got it out. It should go right there. Hold on. There's a spot that's not wanting to, and don't force it. I can see right through it. There is a clear hole there. Let me double check. I still have this thing ah. hot and ready. That is not a uh, Little Caesars reference, although if they wanted to sponsor me, I wouldn't decline. Ah. Ah. That looks a lot better. So, again, you want to give yourself as much leeway as possible to make sure this will pop right into place. Just like that. The Enigma of Amigara Fault. It wants to be there. Perfect. Okay. Solder this in place. Now we need to uh, replace our desoldering gun with our soldering gun. And I got one right here. Or soldering iron, not gun. You know, you know what I mean. All right, let me turn this off. Uh, even though this is unplugged and turned off, this thing is still piping hot. So put it in a safe place that's not going to burn anything. I really, I literally have a burned mark on uh, the stool that I sit on for all these videos. Um, I usually just put it on top of the stove as a place to put it. But where, where, wherever you want to put it, just don't be putting it on the couch or you know even the kitchen table or something. Got a big old spool of solder here. So like what I sucked out, I'm going to replace it now. Um, so these pins will work. It won't work like this because it also needs. Where the pin is, it needs to be touching that little metal ring around where that's going uh, to let it know where it's going on the board. And it should just be a simple swap like that. I am using the Hako something or other. This is a temperature controlled one. For some reason, when I plugged it in, I had everything all twisted up. It wasn't twisted up a second ago. There we go. Okay. Thread the needle. There we go. Okay. So. This is the hawk. What is it? Well, whatever it is, it's linked in my Amazon affiliate, the, the link below. If, if you want to like, oh, what's, what are the ones that you use? Well, there you go. I'm going to place a little bit of solder on each one. Um, it just, it melts right into it. Uh, that camera is top heavy and it keeps on wanting to bend forward. So trust me. Here, I'll just do this. It'll be one of those, it'll be one of those lame things where they like snap their fingers and whatever. All right. So see that? Okay. That's without. And then there's the after. Nice and simple. All right. With any luck, this should work. Let's find out. Focus. There we go. So again, um, this is what once was that chip there. <laughs> uh, was is Legend of the Mystical Ninja. The rest of the circuit board was some Tecmo basketball game. And let's uh, let's give it best we can do here. Double click, please. Show me that delicious. Konami logo. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> In your face! Alright, we got another victory here. I'm gonna put it together. Maybe you'll see a pop-up on a, a whatnot stream or something in the near future. Gonna help me uh, support the uh, making all those cool air fresheners I got coming out. If you need something for yourself, thank you so much for watching. I've been doing over a hundred of these videos, so I got a whole lot you can binge if this is your first time here. Thank you for your subscriptions. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers. Can you believe it? Been doing this a long time, man. We're almost there. Thank you so much. We'll do another open heart surgery video sooner than you think.